Hi guys, whether you are on Namecheap, Bluehost, Hostgator or GoDaddy.com, you'll have to follow these same steps and you will be able to connect your custom domain to blogger.com. First of all, pick your domain name. Let's say we have fitheme.com here now scroll down and search for manage dns click on it and wait for the page to load now copy this ip and minimize this page now on the dns page click add on type select a on host type at the right and point to paste the IP here and click save click add again and point to paste same IP now keep changing 32 to 34 and then click save Add again and click A host and change from 34 to 36 and click save. Now add again. We'll have to add these IPs, I guess, four times. And the final number is going to be from 36 to 38. And click save. Now copy this URL so that we will be able to connect it to Google. Now click on add. And from type select C name. On host type www and point to this address and click save. Now go to your blogger block and click on settings, scroll down, and on custom domain, um, type your domain and Try to type it with www dot because without it, it's not gonna work for you. And then type theme dot com and click on save. Now from here, all you have to do is um, on name copy this bit. This code is gonna verify and it will help your domain to connect to your custom domain. Now go to C name and on the host field paste the first code and the other bit. Copy the destination and paste it here now click save to connect our custom domain to blogger we did was we added four different ips and all we did was we changed 32 to 34 and then to 36 and finally to 38 later on we added ghs.google.com to connect blogger to google and then later we added this verification code now next thing we'll be doing is go to our blog and then settings scroll down now click on custom domain now type your domain url with www i repeat if you 
enter your domain without www it's not gonna accept it f i theme dot com and then click on save okay it's saved now now scroll down and turn on the redirection toggle turn it on and on the left side click on view block it's working now but it says that not secure to turn on the HTTPS go back to the settings again and here on HTTPS turn on the toggle remember that both the toggle should be turned on currently the status is appearing as unknown and if we refresh this page scroll down it's saying status pending availability is being processed we'll have to wait for like um, five to ten minutes we waited for like four to five minutes and then you guys can see that https status is appearing as available now go to view block and we can see that the site is live and even the connection is secure if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to nix navid youtube channel thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one